Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Heroic here and I'm back with a brand new season of Minecadia Factions. Now let me tell you guys right now, I am freaking pumped for this season. I cannot wait for it to get underway. Now if you guys do want to go ahead and hop on the server, use the IP heroic.minecadia.com. Also do slash redeem space heroic for free gold on the server. That way you can use that gold for free ranks, G kits, and other items in game. It's basically a win-win for both of us. But anyways, quickly before we start today's episode, I want to let you guys know I'm 100 subscribers away from 5k, which is nuts so i would appreciate it so much if you guys would go ahead and help me out and drop that sub button down below i want to go ahead and see if we can hit 5k by summer so the beginning of may i better see that 5k mark but anyways i don't want to waste too much time let's go ahead and hop straight into it Alrighty, boys so the server just went ahead and opened up and you guys can probably tell i am freaking pumped up and now we're actually joining a new faction for this map the faction that we're joining is called habibis a lot of people in the last season said i wasn't getting enough pvp they wanted to see some more of it all i was doing is base work and raiding and stuff like that so i went ahead and joined Habibi's probably the best pvp faction on the server so there's gonna be plenty of pvp this season and now if you guys do want to go ahead and hop on make sure to do slash redeem space heroic go ahead and click the red wool and just like that you get 250 free gold and 10,000 starter dollars shout out to everybody in the chat using my redeem code i truly do appreciate it but anyways i'm not exactly sure what the faction is currently doing i think the last season they were actually like allied with null so they like let null do all the base work and stuff like that and Habibi's just straight up pvp but personally for this season i want to go ahead and make my own cactus farm that way i'll have plenty of spawners when tnt comes around but let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and hop straight into the fourth season of minecadia factions Alrighty, boys so went ahead into the last cliff i actually want to go ahead and make myself a cactus farm for this map what okay but like i was saying i actually do want to go ahead and make myself a tiny little cactus farm one that only i have access to and this right here is pretty much going to be the schematic so i only want to do a 10 by 10 because once again i'm going to be the only person printing this in so you guys can see all the way down there the green wool is outlined a 10 by 10 chunk area so i'm gonna go ahead and start claiming all of this probably go ahead and buy a couple chunk busters and start working on the cactus farm so i will go ahead and bring you guys right back Alrighty guys, so I have the schematic completely lined up and I believe I have everything claimed that I need to. And now I actually do need a little bit more power because you can only have 100 land claimed. And obviously if I'm doing a 10 by 10 chunk farm, I need to go ahead and actually claim the outside. So I need to go ahead and just log one alt online. But if we go ahead and check, there's still 500 people in the queue and my alts don't have ranks on them so it's going to take quite a while for them to join so i'll probably go ahead and do that here in a little bit off camera so pretty much what i'm doing right now is just chunk bustering out the claims you guys can actually go ahead and get chunk busters from the gold shop you slash gold shop go to the miscellaneous items and all the way right up here chunk busters for 40 gold each time and i have 3,000 gold so this will get me a good chunk of it completely finished and now a lot of people actually don't find me setting up cactus farms and stuff like that entertaining so i really don't want to go ahead and bore you guys too much i'm gonna go ahead and start working on the farm start making some money and bring you guys back here in a little bit with some progress Alrighty, boys we're skipping a couple of days into the future it is now monday morning at the time of recording this and i was actually super busy over the weekend but over the weekend i went ahead and finished the entire 10 by 10 chunk farm and i've had alt afking it for probably about 18 or so hours and you guys can see in every single chest has at least 1.4 million dollars in it and a reminder, it's a 10 by 10 chunk farm, which means 100 chests. So theoretically speaking, we should be making about 140 million, somewhere around there. Not to mention, before I went ahead and logged off, I also did go ahead and get a couple of iron golems. Got about 69 iron golems. Totally calculated that. And up here, we have $44 million as well in just about 18 hours. So I will go ahead and start selling everything. We're starting at $500,000. And I will go ahead and bring us right back once we're worth hundreds of millions of dollars. So I went ahead and finished selling. You guys can see in my balance 156 million dollars and i think i'm gonna go ahead and put all that towards iron golem spawners so go to the shop real quickly and see they did actually go ahead and nerf iron golem spawners so i can't buy quite a stack i can go ahead and buy 56 iron golem spawners which is absolutely perfect now i've got about two stacks of iron golems all to myself and i should be making a lot more money theoretically so that was just a quick update clip and now i have no idea what i'm going to be doing for the rest of the episode so i have no idea what the faction's doing i don't know if they're doing pvp dungeons bosses i could not tell you right now so if we actually go ahead and check really quickly our faction is currently number six on f top worth about 1.1 billion which really isn't too bad for just a couple of days into the map so i'm gonna go ahead and join the quality faction see what everybody's up to and bring you guys back here in a little bit so really quickly in today's episode i actually want to go ahead and teach you guys how to get some of the best items on the server this is probably one of the best ways if not the best way on the server and this is exactly what my faction has been grinding since start of the world so you already know it's got to be super good so the way to actually go ahead and get all these op items 
is actually by Expeditions. Now, if you guys didn't play the last part of the last map, Expeditions were actually brand new, and oh boy, were they OP. You guys can see right here, there is six different islands, and as you get XP, you can go ahead and actually level up and get to each island. And now the final island at level 100 has some of the best items on the server, and you can get all of this for completely free. You don't have to spend a single dime on the server. You can literally get every rank possible. You can get the rarest enchants in the game. You can get a bunch of armor sets, a bunch of spawners, dungeon portals, a bunch of shards, gray keys, and everything possible, all simply from grinding the server. And now what I will say is that these things take absolutely forever to do. My faction has been grinding it for quite a while, and I believe we have two people with level 100, and they said it took about 30 hours of grinding just to get there, which is a lot of time but if you think about it the map is like five weeks long so in reality you guys should be able to get there in like a week max but yeah pretty much we go ahead and hop on through to island number one you guys can see i'm actually level four i've been doing it for probably about a half an hour or so and now you guys can see these chests right here that say a wave right on top of it so five seconds the next wave spawns and it'll actually go ahead and spawn in a bunch of mobs that we have to go ahead and kill for op rewards and now obviously the rewards get a lot better as you go up in islands and I'm on the starter island, so these are not going to be very good at all. And this is also the downside of it. It's literally, it's lit. Okay, I have no idea who went ahead and decided to code that these skeletons have quick bow, but that was a flaw in judgment, my boy. So if I go ahead and finally kill this final skeleton, I can't touch it. A final hit there. Go ahead and right click the chest, claim the final rewards. Let's see, we got about $6,000 in a blaze spawner. And now they take about two minutes to actually go ahead and spawn in. There's multiple waves you can do all at once. And for this season, they actually went ahead and added a bunch of new stuff for expeditions as well. So if you guys go ahead and see my armor that I've got on real quickly, you guys can see it's a full relic set. And then I have an expedition weapon as well. And now they completely change up the enchantment system. The only way to get enchants for this armor set is actually specifically by killing mobs here. Now if you go ahead and check my PB20, you guys can see it right here is an expedition rune pouch. I've got a bunch of them so far. So I probably need to go ahead and start opening these and start applying them to my set. But you guys can tell these are completely different from the normal room pouches that you put on your normal pvp gear i'll actually go ahead and throw the god set layout right now for expeditions on your screen you guys can actually go ahead and copy my factions layout i'm not sure if i was supposed to leak it or not so you're welcome but that is what my faction has been doing so far and it seems to be working and i actually went ahead and forgot to mention that there's these final bosses on every single island that spawn i believe every seven and a half or so minutes and they give a lot more xp and better rewards but obviously they take a lot longer to kill and a lot more time to spawn in compared to these other normal hordes so that's definitely something you guys want to be on the lookout for if you guys are going to go ahead and grind some expeditions but like i said it takes like 30 hours to go ahead and get to the final island so i'm not exactly sure if i'm going to be grinding that much because obviously that's quite a lot of time so i think i'm going to go ahead and work on this for a little bit off camera and i'll bring you guys back in the next clip quickly before we go ahead and continue on with the video i want to go ahead and show you guys my box in the faction so i'm actually sharing this box with h95 and ice stone who are also in habibis and probably some of the best pvpers on the server i'm not gonna lie like every single map these dudes are beyond rich and definitely not somebody i want to see in the battlefield but anyways right below us i believe we have some iron golem spawners i'm not owner claim to the box quite yet because i just got tp'd here but i'm assuming it's a decent amount since we do have 16 million dollars already collected and i can see iron golems are slowly falling down there but anyways go ahead and go floor up and we've got a bunch of gear in here now the helmets full dub of helmets chest plates full dub leggings full dub boots full dub swords we're working on it axes we're working on it as well the boys are absolutely stacked not to mention all of the bosses that they have over a full dub of legendary bosses and a couple extra and now all the way up top on the final floor we have all of our runes so we have a mythic cursed rare and legendary and obviously the garbage common ones in the middle which soon enough these will be completely stacked with god set enchants which is exactly what i like to see but anyways i thought i'd go ahead and give you guys a quick update of where i will be living for this map Alrighty guys, so quickly before we go ahead and end off today's episode, I think I want to go ahead and start working on a god set because obviously this G kit gear is just not cutting it for me. So shout out to H95, I actually went ahead and hit him up and told him to go ahead and make a blaze grinder inside of our box. Now I've got like three stacks of blazes right above me. Absolutely perfect, you guys can see 823 blazes. That is literally all I need. And he also hooked me up with like 60 million dollars, he gave me like 5 million XP. And apparently he just went ahead and gifted me some white scrolls, armor orbs, and a multi-mask, all of which I'll need for my god set. So shout out to H95. But I also went ahead and purchased an entire orc crate. I believe I'm going to go ahead and use the orc set as my god set once again. I did this last map, and I didn't die a single time with this set on. So knock on wood, but I don't die again. And right beside it, I actually went ahead on Star of the World, got the Ace Admin Sword. Probably the best sword in the game at the moment, because I don't think the other swords are even released right now. So this sword goes for a lot of money. Like I 
was saying the orc set we need like 40 enchants to go ahead and throw on it i'll actually go ahead and throw a screenshot on the screen right now of the layout that i'm going after it really shouldn't take too long i've got like 5 million xp and i've got a bunch of rune pouches in here as well so i'm gonna go ahead and start laying out the set and i'll bring you guys right back Alrighty guys, so in this chest, I've got a couple of enchants. Now this is nowhere even close to a finished god set. So in reality, I've got like 26 out of the 40 enchants that I need. And the ones that I'm missing are actually some of like the rarest enchants in the game, like Judgment 5, Enlightened 3, Armored 4. All of those are super hard to go ahead and get. I've got pretty much all of the easy ones right here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually finish this set off camera. But other than that, I've been online and grinding for a while, doing expeditions, working on the god set, working on the cactus farm actually, Actually, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and have to call it an episode. Let's go ahead and roll the outro. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. 100 subscribers away from 5,000, which is freaking insane. Please help me out. Drop the sub button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, thank you for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.